isn't it beautiful? Yo, what is good everybody welcome back to true tech and i just wanted to start this video by saying that we have jumped into a new space and we will be filming videos from a new set you like what i've done with the place drop a comment tell me if you like the spot what you think so today we're talking about one of the biggest upgrades i've made to my home network and no it's not a new gpu it's something more serious i'm officially moving from omada to unify enterprise ecosystem but this this isn't a breakup story this is more like a promotion now let me start with this omada has been good to me it's been solid reliable and handles the basics like a champ vlans ap management guest networks it never complains but it's like that first apartment you get you love it but you look back one day and you say all right i'm ready for something bigger and that's where the udm pro comes in it's on the way as we speak and no i'm not in the window waiting for the ups truck come on now dog come on man but i am ready because this upgrade fits where i'm taking my entire network the udm pro isn't just another router it's a full enterprise console with its own operating system an actual os not a web portal a whole ecosystem launcher now let's talk about the real difference controller architecture omada uses a controller that manages devices it looks into your routers and switches and APs and tells them all what to do. But it's still a web layer sitting above the hardware. Unify OS is different completely different it's not a controller it's an operating system a modular app-based sandbox environment each core feature runs as its own application network is an app protect is an app access is an app talk for VoIP phones is an app all inside the same OS see this means at a base bare minimum that everything shares authentication everything shares system resources everything meets and talks in the same lobby everything communicates everything reacts cohesively to events together it's the difference between using a remote and using a full smart home os at the electrical panel omada gives you a map unify os gives you the keys to the entire city let's talk modularity unify secret weapon in omada everything is bundled inside one control and that's fine until until you want cameras or doorbell or access control with unify os every major service lives in its own module they update separately they run separately if one crashes the others keep running and that's the enterprise architecture now let's talk about the ecosystems because plainly this is where unify leaves omada behind respect specs are cool but ecosystems run your entire house or your business or whatever deployment in unify cameras talk to the network doorbells talk to protect protect talks to access access talks to phone phones talk to identity everything works together like one centralized organism you see at a minimum omada handles networking unify handles everything that touches the network that's the leap now let's talk performance unify os feels alive so when you click something boom it loads when you switch tabs it's instantaneous when you open protect the cameras snap in like they've got something to prove See, this is not about impatience. It's about operating at the pace you work. And Unify OS moves like it's built for 2025. Now, I gotta address the cameras. The real reason to move away from the Real Link in VR. The Real Link helped me get started. It did its job. But as I evolve into real enterprise environment, I need my cameras inside the same OS as everything else. See, Real Link gave me recordings, but Unify Protect gives me intelligence, smart motion motion zones, AI detection, absolutely buttery smooth, perfect timeline scrubbing, instant camera adoption, everything integrated, everything aware. Protect doesn't just show video, it tells a story. It gives context, that's security. Now let's talk about the future, the upgrade roadmap. The UDM Pro is phase one. Once it's installed, everything else follows first the network moves into unify os then the cameras transition into protect then the doorbells join the ecosystem then access control keypads nfc door management and eventually unify talk because why not add a phone system or even an intercom? Every upgrade builds on the next one. Every piece adds functionality to the other. And that's the magic of an ecosystem. 
it compounds. So let me be clear about this part. Omada isn't bad. It's actually great for prosumer. In my opinion, it's the perfect starter system. But Unify? Unify is built for people scaling up. People building smart studios, security networks, access systems. People who want long-term expansion without switching platforms again and again and again. I'm not leaving Omada because it failed. I'm leaving Omada because I've transitioned. I'm evolving. So that's the journey. That's why I'm moving to Unify OS. The architecture, the modularity, the speed, the cameras, the access, the ecosystem, the future. This isn't a switch. It's a step forward, a progression. And once that UDM Pro lands in my rack, we're going full enterprise. If you're leveling up to, drop a comment. If you're curious about Unify, drop a question. If Omada works for you, keep rocking with it. If you want more upgrade videos or want to see more about Unify OS or Unify Tech, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this because again, when the UDM Pro lands, we're gonna drop that in the rack, get it installed, get it up and running for the first time and we'll walk you through that process as well. I'm Tyson with True Tech, I'll catch you in the next video, peace.